What's up everyone, Adam Saxon with Guy in the Cube. And today we have another roundup for you. You may have noticed that I'm not in my normal location. I am in Haifa, Israel. Visiting with the Power BI engineering team that's out here in Israel. It is a beautiful country. You can see the beach behind me. That's the Mediterranean Sea. But enough of that. Let's dig into the roundup. First up on the list is a blog post from Marco Russo where he looks at how to change the culture of a Power BI desktop file. So when you create a Power BI desktop file, it will take the culture of your current locale on your machine. And so what he shows you is how you can actually go into the file and change that culture. He notes, and I will say also, this is not supported. This is not really, this is kind of a do at your own risk kind of thing. So be very careful with it. But if you want to give it a try and see how it works for you, he's got a blog post for you. Gil Revive's got a blog post where he looks at the solar eclipse that happened in the United States last Monday. He uses a Power BI report to show you the best places to view it according to Facebook. Now, obviously the solar eclipse already happened and you're not gonna be able to see it again. I actually got to see it on the NASA live stream on YouTube, even though I was here in Israel, so I thought that was pretty cool. But I thought this was a good example of how you can use Power BI to put together some information and share it out in a useful way. So if you wanna take a look at it and see what he did, check out the blog post. We've got a developer update from Power BI, and this is all about what's going on, what's new with Power BI embedded with custom visuals and with some of the R technology that's inside of Power BI. So on the Power BI embedded front, there has been tons of documentation updates. I've still got a ton more planned, so there's a lot more coming. There's API reference updates and new APIs that you can go ahead and use. All of that's available out on MSDN. We've also got updated samples for Power BI embedded. So again, all that's referenced in the documentation. I'll have a link down below where you can go directly to that. Aviv also touches on some of the licensing updates and things around there and answers a few questions for you. So be sure to look at that. And there's a ton more stuff in this blog post. So if you are a developer interested in extending or automating Power BI or looking at some of the like ISV type approaches, be sure to check out this blog post and see what you can get. We've got the August update for the on-premises data gateway and there are a few items in this update. One thing to note in this is that we are now defaulting to TLS 1.1 slash 1.2. Also, the timeout for the gateway has been increased from two minutes to five minutes. This is hopefully to avoid just any network latency issues or just long running requests that are timing out on the gateway and causing some problems. So hopefully that'll run better for you. So check out this blog post for all the items that are in the August on-premises data gateway update and be sure to upgrade to the latest version. There is a contest going on for Power BI and this involves the what if parameter feature that's inside of Power BI desktop. So first you need to make sure you're on the latest version of Power BI desktop and if you want to enter this contest you need to come up with the most creative thing you can think of using the what if parameter. There's an example in this blog post if you want some inspiration. The contest is running from August 18th until September 1st you can post your entry into the data stories gallery and tag it with what if. All these details are in the blog post, so be sure to read all the information. There is swag for the winner. I don't know what it is, but you can be sure it'll probably be pretty good. So check out the blog post, come up with your most creative item, tag it in the data, put it in the data stories gallery and tag it and let us take a look, share it out with the world. All right, guys, what was your most favorite item in this roundup? Go ahead and leave that down below and let me know, or let me know if you found something interesting in the last week that I didn't cover. For me, I think changing the culture item inside of Power BI Desktop is pretty interesting. I like hacking things and doing things that maybe shouldn't be done, and that's just my nature coming from the support side, so I really enjoyed that blog post. All right, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more great content for both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.